Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the year 2018 for the Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say to all you Cancers out there, um, Happy New Year and wishing you and hoping that all your wishes and dreams will come true in this year. For you Cancers, it's going to be a year of transformation. It's going to be a year where a lot of situations that are happening. So be aware of this situation that is happening there is a lot of um, positive energy but yet still um, just be aware I want to say thank you for all the support and the stone for all oh, if you're new please subscribe to our channel and I hope you will return um, for the rest of the cancers who have been on this journey with me thank you so much um, thank you for the likes shares and support please share these videos listen to your sun moon and rising sign and listen to the general energies okay um please write this information down your best month is going to be january january is going to be a wonderful month for you guys and um march is going to be a good month for you guys um july uh september Mm, November October 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 and December so again January uh, March uh, July uh, September uh, August also it's a very lucky month August for you guys very lucky um, September um, October and December okay so that is good your numbers are going to be six um, 17 um, 19 3 uh, 21 and 2 okay so for you Kansas is all about um, the energy of the lovers okay all right so let's look at this for you cancers this year 2018 is the energy vibration of justice equality unjust thing and all these wonderful energies so be aware um be aligned with yourself because as the justice is going to be prevailing in this year and this is very good because as i look at your energy reading is that you have um good months in the first half of the year and very extremely good months in the second half of the year okay so this is wonderful so let's look at January January how uh, you have to deal with the energies of the lover so whatever is happening in January you have to deal with the energies of the lover and the, the situation with the energy of the lover this is something that is um, very powerful um, you are going to find out that your relationship because the energy of the lovers is um, in the middle of the relationship with, with the, dub, uh, the, the the devil so you're going to find out that you are um, being mani manipulate so if you're in a um, uh, yeah um, this year is going to show you something about your relationship I think you already saw it but now it's going to be coming out very clearly you're going to realize that your relationship is not based on honesty and love um, the devil is at one side and then you have your enemies so you could be feeling in the in the month of January that um, your relationship you have is as if this person has a devil on one shoulder and is the enemy on the other one so whoever you are with and it is a fire person for people who are with fire people you're going to realize that these people are like the devil in disguise that is what i wanted thank you okay so you are going to find out that if you're in a relationship with someone who is who has a fire energy an aries or so you're going to realize that that person is the devil in disguise so you are going to be waking up because it's as if you, some of you cancers haven't been waking up especially people who are having a relationship with um the fire people because i'm seeing um the energy of um justice so you might be getting divorced or but anyway you're going to find out that this person is not a nice person you're going to see 
the horrible side of this person in January and it's not going to be nice because your energy is surrounded by the energy of the devil so obviously this and what I'm saying now is just for people who have relationship with the Aries people because the energy of the devil is the Aries people you are going to find out that they're the devil in this guys some of you are going to either separating or getting divorced either separating and getting divorced because the energy of ending is coming in in a lot of you cancers relationship as we move forward to the month of February which should be a happy month you have the energy of the devil so in February this is not a very this is not going to be um, a, a month of positive energy um, there is the energy of the devil that is in the month of February so you have to be careful of what is going on around you because um, whoever this person is in your life and this is not for all of you you have to be aware that the the details is in the devil that the, the, you know there's something because this this energy of the devil and justice the devil and justice I'm seeing um, if you're in legal situation and so it's you know it's no it's it's it's, it's horrible it's, it's like you're jumping out of the frying pan in the fire so be aware and be careful of what is going on around you March you have the energy of an air energy and it's a lucky energy so I'm hoping that your luck will change in March um, this this energy in March I'm hoping that it will change because whatever is happening um, a kind of lucky streak will be coming in your wishes and dream will be coming in in March okay so for the first half of the year um, it's the first three months of the year it's going to have to deal with um, situations with the, the fire energy people and that sort of a thing so you need to really 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 be careful what is happening around you you can says okay um, in April it's a good month you're fighting you're trying to protect yourself from your enemies you're really fine trying to protect yourself from um, people who um, or against you or people who you realize is uh, not who they pretend to be it's as if you're seeing them you're seeing their through colors and you're trying to protect yourself from that and you're really really standing strong and fighting against this okay as we move forward we have the energy of justice so some of you might be getting divorced some of you might be deciding to get divorced um, because the energy of judgment is also in the month of June so I think in June some of you are going to decide to just leave this relationship behind and leave whatever is happening behind because you realize that what you had decided to do is not what is really happening for you and you're going to see and feel this situation happening to you so um, you know the second half is also going to be a lot of things coming up because breakthroughs sit the situation things that weren't said is now coming out things that wasn't was what that was um, the people things are coming out and you're going to be surprised at a lot of things that are coming out because you're going to see this situation taking place and coming out so you need to be aware so the first um, the second uh, three months from April until um, um, June is going to be a rocky month for you because especially for some of you who have legal situation it's going to be very rocky and this is mostly situation with people and some is ending of relationships and divorces uh, and uh, um, yeah ending of relationship divorces are going to be happening people are going to decide to end their relationship and that sort of a thing um, so be aware of what is happening around you because it's going to be as if the, this this year is a rocky year the first half of the year is going to be very rocky for you the best month is going to be the month of um, January and and March because in January you're going to see people for who they truly are 
as we move forward and we look at July July is going to be a beautiful month whatever decision you have made whatever you have decided you have made the right decision because July is a good month whatever you decide to do go forward with it because it's going to work out in your best okay so I write this down July is going to be a wonderful month for you so is august it's is the energy of the hair so it is good because this is the magician bringing help to you bringing people and situations to you who are going to help you to move you forward to something much positive and better in your life so this is um going to be um extremely positive as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the empress in september so someone who has the energy vibration of and steer mark of Stenbock is going to come in your life in September. This person is going to bring you positive situation in your life, and this is going to be wonderful. So um, it's as if you're going to be connecting with them in August and in September. You know the connection is going to be good, and you're going to they're going to be bringing you wonderful, good situation in your life, and this is going to be positive. So you know you guys are the only one who has the energy vibration of September being so positive. It is a month where a lot of um financial things are going to be coming in for some of you some of you babies are going to be born uh, for you as we look at the energy vibration of uh, october we have the energy of the world this is good this is um wonderful this is good positive energy these are wonderful energies that are coming out because something is ending and some people relationship is ending and good positive situation are coming out for you in the month of um, October so just as good because there's an ending um, you have the energy of endings coming in and positive situations are coming out and this is good this is extremely good because you have actually all four elements working for you in this year all four you have working for you in November it's going to be a month where you're going to start looking at yourself when you're going to start to more take your energy um, close off people taking your energy you're going to start balancing out your energy you're going to start looking at yourself you're going to wonder you know how could I let this happen but yet still I'm glad that this is over because I can finally find myself again and this is going to be good because in December you are going to do that because the energy of the eye princess comes in to help you and this is wonderful the energy of the ice princess is a powerful energy because via your intuition your intuition is going to be very very high very very high intuition and you're going to see that by you taking the time out in November to connect with yourself and define yourself you're going to see that the energy of the eye princess comes in and she is going to be supporting you in this long positive journey okay so it's a uh, it's a year of bitter sweet it's a year of bitter sweet this energy of the year is a year of bitter sweets for you and a lot of you will be ending um, your relationships especially if you are with the fire sign people you are going to be seeing them for who they are and seeing them as the devil in disguise and um, you're going to find out that it is best for you to end this relationship because your energy vibration is the energy of that transformation so no one will be and it could be that some of you your parents may be passing over to the spirit side but relationships are ending relationships are ending and these endings have to do with legal situations so whenever justice and the energy of judgment comes out together is always about legal situation so there is an ending coming to a legal situation or there's an ending coming to relationship there's an ending coming to divorces or legal situation there's an ending some people are going to decide to um, end their marriage and this is going to be good so whatever the situation is uh, this is going to be happening for you guys so I'm hoping because it is just a karmatic situation that you need to go through and um, uh, whenever you decide for yourself that this is not the relationship that I wanted to be in this is not who I thought this person is and you decide to end it it is much better for you 
as we look forward we're looking at the, the energy of the zodiac energies and you have the energy of the Sun coming out and some of you who end your relationship is going to begin a relationship with the Tauruses and they are going to be the ones you're going to be falling in love with the Tauruses okay the Capricorns was coming out for a lot of other sign and they come out also for you guys so let's look if you were born between the hours of 12 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. at night you are a sun sign and for you guys the energy of Venus comes out and you guys are going to end a relationship with a fire sign and begin a relationship with the hurt sign the Tauruses okay Venus the planet of love is bringing in the Tauruses and the, the, the Capricorns with love for you so Venus the planet um, the planet of love is bringing in the Tauruses and the Capricorns for you in love relationships so for the people the Sun people who are ending their relationships the planet of Venus is um, bringing the Tauruses and Capricorns to help you begin a new relationships because actually you um, you can um, connect with the Capricorns they are your marriage partner not the fire sign okay as we look at the people who are born in the night if you were born um, at 6 p.m. and 6 and 12 a.m. in the morning you are a moon person and what is happening for you is that you have the energies of the Capricorn coming in but you also have the Capricorns with Mars so the Capricorns are going to help you with your career a lot of the Capricorns is going to come in and help you with your career and some of them are going to be your business partner or your love partner okay the Capricorn seems to be um, working in the year 2018 with a lot of you signs so the Capricorns is going to come in as a business partner or as to help you to change your career or as a lover okay so this is wonderful and this is extremely extremely positive as we move on and we go on we're using the energy vibration for you guys and we are going to look at the ascension okay we're going to look at the ascension and I'm getting in a message for someone out there that you know whatever is coming to an end let it come to an end because there the stars your wishes and dream of something better and the Sun is going to bring you wonderful exciting things because you have with this ending good things coming in the energy of the star it's as if your spirit guides are helping you to connect to the right people and by connecting to these right people your financial abundance is going to be good and you're going to be sitting very happy in the month of October because you are going to see this positive situation and financial abundance coming out in your life and this is going to be good so let's see what the ascendance masters of you guys um, Orion and they say I honor the master of Orion and visit them in my sleep at night so this is good because what is happening is that the master of Orion invites you to visit them through meditation or sleep to um, receive a download of cosmic wisdom this is an honor so prepare yourself with intention during the day by showering lighting candles playing soft music or walking in nature then you will receive much spiritual light Orion is the soul star chakra of this universe you may find it helpful to ask Archangel Mariel um, to lighten up your soul star chakra which is above your head to facilitate the connection I honor the master of Orion and visit them in my sleep tonight I honor the master of Orion and visit them in my sleep tonight so this is really a positive energy or the third um, um, group of people to get this card this is a very 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 positive card because what it is saying to you is that the um, other universal beams and spirit guides wants to connect to you this is going to um, be happening the whole entire year because I see 
that the energy of the moon is here the energy of the moon is um, showing you how you can defeat your enemies and in December the eye princess comes up so you can work with the eye princess to open up your um, your ascension part so you can connect with Ari, the beams from Orion okay we're working with the Aztec um, cards and another reverse energy the six the sands of time the sands of time another you have the energy of green the sands of time and um, the scroll of six in the reverse form the scroll of six in the reverse form okay don't be alarmed at this because this card deck is from uh, this and it is the Aztec and this is where all records of all, everyone's soul is kept this is a new deck I have gotten it for this year reading because I know what is the Aztec um, records but I'm not sure how I really feel about this book right now because I was expecting something else so um, let's see where this is going to go it is in the reverse form most of the cards in this year reading especially from this deck is in the reverse form so let's see what it is saying the six of scroll in the reverse form you have more time than you think so there is no need to hurry the sun is raising in the east on a new day and the hour glass is full the task at hand may require more research and following through to take all the time you need you may even have the opportunity to invest further or to connect with others who can help so take a breath you have got plenty of time to explore okay so let's say this is for people who are getting divorced in this year what it is actually saying is that you don't need to rush in another relationship take the time to explore take the time to find out who you are take the time to understand where you are in this relationship and whatever that is going on and it is it just wants you to to let you know that you have all the time in the world there is nothing you don't need to worry about certain situations so if you're thinking yeah I am getting divorced and I don't know what and I need another relationship no take the time uh, to explore and to connect to other people and situation and you will find yourself at the right place with the right person at the right time so this year is actually a year that is letting you know that you don't need to rush into anything just take your time to move yourself uh, um, in uh, new situations okay the Tauruses are coming in with a love energy not everyone need to jump on that train you can just take your time um, to um, see where it's going before you make any decision I'm working with the conscious spirit and let's see what the energy of the conscious spirit has to say the throat chakra I speak my truth and encourage others to do so too um, I think the Taurus the Capricorn or the Taurus has got this too so speak your truth no matter what is happening speak up speak your truth and say exactly how you feel about the situation and do not let people think they can bully you and walk over you and tell you things that is not true okay so speak up for yourself and be there for yourself because I know you can do this and um, open up yourself and understand you have the energy of blue this energy of blue is going to help you is there's going to be a lot of healing there's going to be a good situation that are happening and that are coming up for you so not to worry don't jump in anything but yet still speak up and speak your truth and say exactly what is going on a lot of Capricorns people will help you to do that and they are going to help you to change your career because Capricorn people are really they're at the point they're just going to tell you exactly how it is let's look forward and let's look and see what is happening for your abundancy it says exercise to increase your energy and manifest uh, manifestation abilities the key to manifesting quickly is to have high energy level and uh, this 
is the way to increase them is through physical exercise choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you will look forward and exercise and it becomes your own towards your manifestation so this is a very good this is very wonderful I hope you can read it there is the blue coming back with a world so this angel of abundancy is saying um, um, you know open up yourself and use this energy to invest in bringing forward positive energies in your own life so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you thank you for being here remember it doesn't really matter if there is you are going to be divorcing it is better to divorce than you sit in a relationship that is not very healthy for you and obviously this is what you need to do because some of you always tend to hold on so fast on people and situation and things and what Whatever is happening this is a karmatic situation and you really need to release yourself from this relationship whatever is happening here it is time that you walk away from this relationship and it's not going to be for uh, um, everyone it is may mainly for people who are with the cancers and the scorpion the cancers and not this cast not the scorpion the cancers and the aries people so if you're married to cancers and aries people you're going to realize that you're going to be ending your marriage ending your relationship because you're finding out that they're the devils in the sky so whatever the situation is just um learn and understand that peace is the only thing and love is the only thing that is real i want to say please share these videos please thumbs up like share these videos namaste until next year